The weather will be very different over the next seven days as we are expecting much warmer weather to build in across much of the United States in addition to a few more cold blasts across the Midwest, Ohio Valley and the Northeast and this will also set the stage for a few strange storm systems all the way through the middle of next week that could bring some severe weather, heavy rainfall and even a little bit of snow. So in today's forecast we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven to ten days. We'll begin with what's happening across the country today and we are finally done with severe weather out of this huge storm system that brought a multi-day severe weather event. Even yesterday we had a few tornadoes even in Florida, Georgia and as well as South Carolina and this adds on to an already historic storm system that's impacted the country with almost a hundred tornadoes in addition to major flooding across the Mississippi River Valley. Thank goodness we're done with this. This was a really bad storm system and it is finally out of here and look at the weather now we really don't have much to talk about at least today in terms of our weather great plains is dry ohio valley southeast also much drier than the last few days we actually do have a little bit of snow that is moving into areas like new england this morning though so something to keep an eye on up there and then we're also watching for another storm system that'll be coming into the country as we go into wednesday and thursday and this will bring a few problems we're going to talk more about that here in just a moment now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the next couple of weeks and to look at that we are going to look at the jet stream and so right now we have a large scale trough that is now moving offshore still pretty strong winds aloft back over in Florida but generally speaking we have a large ridge that is now moving in and this is going to keep things a little bit drier and a little bit calmer as we go into the middle of the week however it is also going to set the stage for a bit more of a strange weather pattern so by Wednesday and Thursday we are going to have a large ridge that is in the southwest and this is actually going to allow for a couple of storm systems to come out of Canada and this will bring the threat for a little bit of severe weather but nothing like what we've seen over the last couple of weeks in addition to some heavy rainfall and even a little bit of snowfall from the midwest back into the southeast and along the east coast so basically what we're talking about i think through the rest of this week is that the west coast is going to be a lot drier and then anywhere back over in the ohio valley northeast and as well as the mid-atlantic will still stay a bit more active and there will also be more opportunities for colder weather so by thursday friday to saturday notice we have this big dip in the jet stream this is a storm system that'll definitely bring some heavy rainfall to the east coast as well so some localized flooding is definitely possible in addition to some isolated severe weather by saturday and sunday we are dealing with a more uh, omega block type weather pattern where a high pressure system is dominating in the southern plains and then we got two low pressure systems between that but generally speaking no significant severe weather makers with this particular weather pattern this is honestly very similar to what we just saw about two weeks ago before we eventually saw that big severe weather outbreak take place over the span of eight days so I'm not saying that's going to happen again, but this is a very similar weather pattern to what we just had. Eventually, by Monday and Tuesday of next week, that weather pattern starts to really die down. That high pressure system will be weakening, and that's going to allow, I think, for a trough to develop back along the West Coast. And keep in mind, anything that develops over here near California or even comes from the Pacific Ocean and moves over the Rockies will usually pose the threat for severe weather. So this is something we need to keep a very close eye on as we go into the middle and end of next week. So around mid to late April is when I think our next big storm system will be impacting the country, which will likely spark the return of significant severe weather and perhaps another severe weather outbreak in the near future. Now let's talk more about what's happening over the next few days on the future radar. We'll begin with what's happening today. High pressure starting to build across the East Coast, and this is our surface high pressure system. We do have a little bit of snow that will continue in the Northeast today, but generally speaking, very light to moderate. Eventually by tomorrow, we'll have a little storm system moving into the Midwest with some scattered showers and isolated thunder storms but by Thursday is when I do think a slightly more organized threat of severe weather will take place mainly back over in Tennessee in the Dixie Alley where damaging winds and some large hail are possible wouldn't rule out an isolated brief tornado the environment is actually favorable enough for an isolated tornado but it is a very low end threat out of this small scale storm system this one gets a little bit more interesting by Friday the storm will actually start to intensify further as it approaches the east coast and it will bring some heavy rainfall to areas in the mid Atlantic and also back into the southeast with even some scattered thunderstorms back over in Florida on Friday. Eventually by Saturday, the storm is moving into the northeast with a little bit of late season snowfall for areas in southern New England and as well as New York. And then by Sunday and Monday, notice that that, th that storm system literally just flirts with the east coast. So it's going to continue to stay over there even through Sunday and Monday. Eventually by late Monday into Tuesday, we'll have a more significant storm attempt to form, but this is going to stay well off to our north, mainly in the Midwest where there could be a little bit of snow, but no 
no severe weather is really expected out of that as long as it stays off to the north eventually by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday notice how things still stay really quiet again really no major severe weather makers in the near horizon I think our next shot for any major severe weather event will have to be sometime late next week if not by the following weekend and right now the European model is indicating the return of something significant but again this is not until April 21st so there's a good chance here over the next 7 to 10 days that we have a very quiet weather pattern with very little severe weather really our biggest storm system is going to be what's happening back over on the east coast where we'll have at least a few different weird storm systems coming along that ridge and then eventually as we go into next week things could be quiet for quite a while with all that said one thing that's going to stay very interesting is our temperature trend we're going to continue to see this temperature roller coaster through the rest of this week and currently we have a huge area of cold air from the gulf coast all the way back through the ohio valley in the northeast and this is where we currently have even in some cases it feels like arctic air we're currently dealing with teens and 20s for low temperatures in areas like the great lakes in the northeast even though we are getting closer to the middle of april but what's going to change is by the middle and end of this week notice how warm air will begin to build across the rockies but there will still be some cold air in place even by friday and saturday back over in the ohio valley in the southeast that's mainly because of that storm system that's coming out of canada that's going to bring some heavy rainfall to basically the entire east coast on friday and saturday but by sunday and monday warm air will start to build back in from texas all the way back through the northeast another strong storm system will impact the country on saturday and sunday but again this is mainly going to be something that's impacting the midwest even though we're not really going to see much precipitation out of this down into the southern plains there will at least be some impacts when it comes to our temperatures as an elongated cold front will move through despite there not being really any severe weather out of this eventually by tuesday wednesday and thursday of next week we're likely going to start to see some really warm weather build in to the great plains and that should allow for a bit of a heat wave before our next big severe weather maker and keep in mind that we are in april this is basically the peak of severe weather season so from here we're basically just talking about severe weather events but for right now the next seven to ten days there's very little to no severe weather that's happening that's at least significant to the point where there could be an outbreak or even a live stream so for our temperatures on wednesday morning we're going to be dealing with low temperatures in the low 20s all the way into the low 30s across the appalachian mountains look at this even over in northern alabama we could have freezing temperatures so be ready for that if you're back over into alabama and currently we do have freeze warnings that are in effect across a relatively large area for this morning but even some freeze watches in effect for parts of georgia alabama and also the mid-atlantic so be ready for that and protect sensitive vegetation for our rainfall between now all the way through tuesday of next week it is really 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 quiet especially for the great plains this is abnormally quiet for april but i think we really deserve this after our eight to nine day stretch of severe weather that started really on an enhanced risk day back over in kansas and oklahoma and continued all the way through the southeast yesterday where we end up seeing a few tornadoes so thank goodness we are done with that weather pattern for now and we are looking at a much quieter pattern but if you're back over the mid-atlantic or northeast again localized flooding is a possibility between now and saturday and sunday as we are expecting some moderate heavy rainfall to continue there all the way through the weekend and so over the long term the cloud prediction center is currently expecting above average temperatures for most of next week so april 13th to 17th a large pocket of above average temperatures is likely across the great plains midwest and the ohio valley some areas though that could still see below average temperatures include the pacific northwest and also parts of florida so that's definitely some good news if you're not looking forward to summer and then here's your temperatures between april 15th to the 21st pretty much the entire country currently looking at above average temperatures during this time frame before the eventual return of significant severe weather and then in terms of our rainfall the current chances of seeing above average rainfall between april 15th and 21st are slightly more elevated from texas all the way back through the northeast this is definitely a hint though that we are eventually going to see a large trough move over the rockies that could bring the return of severe weather but again it's just too early to tell what's going to happen even by april 21st but i do think generally speaking our risk of severe weather will start to ramp up again in about 10 to 14 days it could happen a little bit earlier than that it could happen a little bit later than that that's just the general outline but notice again below average rainfall back over along the west coast which goes perfectly with that current thinking that we are going to see a large-scale low pressure system move into the great plains that'll bring again some severe weather at some point down the road and then below average rainfall in florida right during the fire season there in the southeast and as always thank you all so much for watching today's forecast if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below as a reminder this is probably going to be one of our only videos this week there is really not much to talk about as you could see there's not really any big storm system that's in the near horizon but once we have a bigger storm system locked in we are going to have another video i think thursday or friday will be our next forecast so stay tuned for that but again i think we're
think we're going to take a break tomorrow. There's really just not much to talk about. And also, I'm still exhausted from our eight-day stretch there of severe weather coverage. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates. And we'll keep you posted with the latest on anything that's significant coming up. But overall, our general weather pattern was outlined in today's forecast. No major changes are expected to the forecast, at least over the next day or two. But if there are any, we will definitely make sure to have a video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates. And don't forget, we have our Supercell merch out at shopmaxvelocity.net the top link in the description below including our supercell t-shirts hoodies as well as mugs stickers and as well as phone cases you can check this out at shopmaxvelocity.net